Welcome to the R Plank Sales Foam Fabrication video. During this video, you will see that both R Pack EPE and R Pro EPP plank materials can be fabricated with traditional foam cutting equipment. Our molded plank products come in a variety of different densities in both black and white. All of our foam planks are available in our standard 6 inch by 48 inch by 72 inch plank size. We also now offer our new R-Flex product line available in a 2 by 48 by 108 inch nominal plank size. Both R-Pack EPE and R-Pro EPP plank materials can be fabricated with traditional foam cutting equipment. Both EPE and EPP can be skived or split with medium to heavy duty roll splitting equipment. EPE densities can be split to any thickness, while EPP has splitting thickness limitations because it is a harder and stiffer material than other closed cell foams. Both materials can be saw cut using a 20 thousandths heat treated one sided number 10 tooth raker style cutting blade. Feed rates need to be adjusted based on the height of the material being cut, the material type, and the density. Hot wire down cutting is mostly used for fabricating EPP materials. Multiple planks can be stacked together and then down cut at the same time. Hot wire cutting is capable of producing hundreds of parts with tight tolerances. Both materials can be profile cut when the foam piece is passed over a heated steel profile or cutting element. EPP profile cuts easily and can be used to make parts instead of laminating pieces together. Reciprocating knife vacuum cutting tables like this one can cut all EPE densities at 2 inches thick and low density EPP. Tungsten carbide coated cutting blades will reduce friction and increase your cutting speed times. Water jet cutting EPE and EPP molded planks works great. Low density EPE can be cut up to 6 inches thick and mid density EPP can be cut up to 4 inches thick. Machine speed will be influenced by the orifice head size, material type, material density and the thickness being cut. CNC routering can also be used to make parts like this case insert in both EPE and EPP materials. Parts need to be vacuumed during the cutting process to remove machine materials. The cutting bit type, RPMs, and machine speed depend on the part depth, complexity, density, and material. This automatic die press is using inch and three eighths serrated rule die to cut the new RFlex 3000 material into protective end cap sets for a computer monitor. Please contact us for more specific information on loading guides, steel rule die lengths, and operator tips. Typically, EPE has less die cut concavity or hourglassing than extruded or cross-linked foams. Pressure sensitive adhesives, also known as PSA liners, can also be easily applied to both EPE and EPP materials as shown here. Hand applying PSA liners also works. EPE heat bonds excellent for all densities. Notice how quickly the assembly and heat welding lamination process takes to join EPE parts together after they have been die cut. EPP should be hot glued or PSA laminated together for best bonding. Both hot glue guns and hot glue applied to the foam by rollers bonds very well.
Thank you for watching this R Plank Sales closed cell foam fabrication video. Please contact us at 1 800 799 0642 if we can help you with more specifics about fabricating EPE and EPP foam materials. Also, please visit us at www.rplanksales.com. Thanks again, and we hope to hear from you soon.